Good evening. Welcome to the Kingdom Culture Center. Today, we're going to discuss on the principles of man and woman, male and female. And let's turn to, in the Constitution of Genesis, the second chapter. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept. And he took one of the one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Now, I want to say this: that before um, God even placed and did this process, Adam was here for a good little while. Now, I want you. God have put in my heart and in my mind. A motion up to embrace the kingdom concept because that is only the real and the true way you're going to understand a lot of the constitution that God has put here in this book, which you call the Bible. But in actuality, it's God's laws and his principles. And he shows you and tell he shows you many illustrations of how he dealt with his people when they were on on earth back in days, thousands and thousands of years ago. And I was just talking to my wife about that. And you see, about so many years that uh, the earth has been here. But God started, made a created an environment for man to live before man was, it was even uh, uh, placed here on earth. Now we go on. I want you to understand something as we go on. And I want you to understand the, the concept. In the next uh, few sessions, I'm going to try to paint a picture, and I hope I do it quite well, of how the kingdom stands and why Christ came, and it wasn't about a religion. We go on in the 22nd verse uh, uh, in, uh, in Genesis, uh, the second chapter, and it goes on, And then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. God didn't tell him, I want you to understand this. God didn't tell him, this is your wife. He didn't tell him that. Listen, I want you to follow on. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Now, I want you to understand this. God didn't tell him that he had to pick her. He could, Adam could have said, no, I would like something else. But it was the submissiveness and the obedience that God presented to him, a perfect mate for him. At this time, Eve was the perfect candidate for him, the woman. And he was to... Um, uh, 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 to lead. He was the cultivator of that woman. She was for him. God created the woman for the man. It wasn't vice versa. God created Eve for the man. So the man was to take charge. He was to rule. That is what man does. When we're talking all this setting now, is before man sinned. So I don't want you to go jumping the, the gun and looking at this world because you'll miss it. You'll miss it. So follow me as I go along. And Adam saw her, and look what he said. Go back to the 23rd verse. And Adam said, this is bone of my bone. He said, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Let us go on. Because she was taken out of man. Now, I just want to deviate from this just a little so I can keep you focused. That God, when he wanted man, he spoke man. He took man from him, his spirit. That's why we are spirit. And God spoke man into in existence, his spirit, he took 
man to his spirit from it and put it in man. That's why we have the image. When he made us physically, we made the image. But we became, in essence, when he put his spirit in into us, him. See, when God spoke, he says, let us make man. So it came from God. He spoke that. When God spoke the world, he spoke it into existence. Follow me. Follow me. This is very important. This is the creator. This is the king. This is our Lord. And we take that word Lord too lightly because he's the landlord of this planet Earth. Let us go on. Therefore, in the 24th verse, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Now, there should be no discussion about homosexuality, gays, whatever you want to call them, concerning what God says about it. It's a done deal. You, you, you hear individuals talking, preachers and pastors and, 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 and religious leaders talking about, well, we were letting this go and this can be done because of this and this can be done this. And if it's contrary to what God says in his word, then guess what? There's no discussion. It's a done deal. Do you feel me here? It's a done deal. You're wasting your time, your breath. Stay with God's word. Live, speak, conduct, behave as the word of God, as the spirit of God lives in you. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you don't have the conversation or no debate about can a homosexual be saved or can a homosexual? No, you have no debate because God has spoken. You shouldn't be getting all in all to them, them those, those, those conversations that are time wasters. Because when the king says something, that's having the mind concept of the kingdom concept. When the king speaks, it's a done deal. You don't have to debate on that. You don't have to argue about it. It's a done deal. But the problem is with us. We're too busy debating over God's word, and it's not a debate. When God says something, it's done, brothers, sisters, it's a done deal. You know, you don't have to debate over that. Hallelujah. You don't have to debate over that. It's a done deal. Only religious people debate over that. They debate over God's word. God's word is not to be debated on, it's to be obeyed. O-B-E-Y-E-D. Obey. This is very crucial, especially in the religious world. Uh, th there's so many, uh, uh, they have so many deviants, so many things of what they say we should be in. Let me tell you something. When the hammer comes down, God's going to have the last word anyway. All they have to do is read and study God's word and take it for what it is, God's word. You know, it, it, it is too late in the season now to be talking about well, I don't know about this, and, 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 and this should be in the church, and that's being the church. All you have to do, my brother, is obey God's word and live by it. It's here in black and white and some other colors. That's what I'm told. That's what I want to remind you today, okay? And um, embrace that, my brothers and my sisters, if you're listening. Embrace it. It's very important. The kingdom concept which you will come to reality to you when you once you embrace it and if you're hungry for it it'll come to you you have a nice day